What's up guys, how are we doing today? It's a great Saturday here at the pole and that is because I'm finally getting to take you to one of my favorite places on the entire station, the ice tunnels. So the station itself is located above ground, but underneath the ice, we have these storage facilities known as the arches, where we keep everything from food to, you know, building supplies and actually the fuel for the station as well. But in an offshoot from the station to those areas, there's a series of tunnels built in through the ice where things like our water go through, but What's really cool is that over the years, it's kind of become this oddly sacred place here at the pole, you know? Uh, people have built shrines into the walls that kind of represented what was important to them at that time of their lives or for that season. So walking through, it's just kind of like this timeline. And some of them are really like kind of hidden out of sight. So you really kind of have to look for them, which is really, really cool. Um, but there's also these wonderful ice crystal formations on the ceiling. Uh, and the whole place overall just has this kind of mysterious, eerie kind of vibe. So like I said, it's one of my favorite places here at the pole. I, I've been down there a couple times and I'm finally getting to bring you guys down. Uh, you're not allowed to go down there by yourself if you don't work there, so you actually need someone to accompany you. Today I have Josh, one of the maintenance specialists. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna take me down. Super excited about it. Can't wait to bring you guys along and show you this place because it's just absolutely incredible. So, let's go. I'm just waiting for Josh to show up. He, uh... Supposed to be meeting down here in a couple minutes, so we'll see. We'll see when he gets here. There you is. Go. All right. Let go. So by the way, this is the beer can. So like I was saying, uh, this is the beer can. It takes you down to the underground area. So this is where the arches are. The fuel's kept. And, of course, the ice tunnels, which will be down this way. Here we are. There's the entrance. As I was saying earlier, you can't actually go down there without anyone else that actually works down there. So, that is why good old Josh is here. So he's gonna, you know, get us the go-ahead to go in. So, you have to make the radio call or something? Yep. Eric, Eric, Josh. Yeah. Uh, myself plus one going into the tunnels. Call back and I'll make sure and report it. Coolio, be about 25, uh, 45 minutes. <laughs> All right, sounds good. So I was talking to you about the shrines down here and they're already at the very beginning of the tunnel. And the first one is one of the best ones. This is the last tub of vanilla ice cream in winter 2012. And honestly, it might be the very last tub of vanilla ice cream ever. This, uh, this is the entrance to the whole thing. <laughs> Ah, that's Amundsen. Quite a legend, if it wasn't for him. It wasn't for him. What is this? So this is Birming Man. A couple years ago when we were uh, reorganizing all the berms, they made this for the crew that did it, and uh, they thought it was so beautiful, they did not want to eat the whole thing. Um, there's only eight people that ever ate a tiny bit of it, and um, I'm not one of them, but sometimes I'm tempted when I walk by. <laughs> and there is a, um, a whole crew of people that really enjoyed puppets. Things get a little weird down here sometimes, but uh, yeah, they got them to the shrine. It looks like they had some fun. First chainsaw for carving out the tunnels. So this was used to make make these guys. And this is your pride and joy, huh? Uh, yep, this is my year. So this uh, is last year's winter over crew, right? Yep. That is block breaker, that knife to uh, make the igloo, break the blocks out. Tom the plumber had a lot of fun with some uh, some urinal filter. <laughs> this poor soul, he uh, he had one of the worst jobs probably it's ever existed down here. <laughs> so we have these massive fuel tanks, and that poor man spent the entire winter going inside and cleaning out every single one of them. <laughs> and also keeping his good humor, which is... is <laughs> Quite amazing, really. Yep. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, uh, the backdrop is uh, the pool games that were played. Yeah. 
And you had yeah. a pool tournament, didn't you? Uh, I, I did, and I won. There was this pool tournament that also just ended last weekend, and he won again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Number two! How do you do that with the mitten? <laughs> <laughs> it's automatically two, right? No. I, oh, yeah, you have three. Yeah, you have three. Okay, yeah. there you go. You have two that way. Yeah. Anyways. All right, so that's the last of the shrines for now. There's a couple more that are hidden deeper in the tunnels, but... So now we're just going to go ahead and walk on down. See where it brings us. All right, we've made it to the corner of the tunnels here, where we have one of the most important science experiments of all. <laughs> The South Pole Gravity Station. <laughs> does anyone know what this does? Uh, you know what? I, uh, I've recently learned oh, no sort way. of what it might do. Uh, <laughs> what it might do. Uh, basically a gravimetric sensor that, um, uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. That's it. I, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. So what did you tell me before? The In the summer, it's always 48 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the yep. winter, it goes down to 58? Yep. And it just stays that way, no matter what temperature it is outside. So there you can see we're at, uh, we're at 58 degrees, negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. So about negative 50 Celsius. So, we don't actually call things negative here. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> that is also true. But here's the other end. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we have the uh, warming shack for people when they're working down here. Nice little, nice little place to have a have a sit. You wanna, you wanna do so? Sure. Okay. Right. Again. The latch is so much better. This is the carpenters, right? Yep. Uh, the carps are the ones that actually cut out the tunnel. Oh, by the way, this is a ladder. This is a... Uh, Things go really wrong down here. So this is a very special little shrine, mainly because of that blue. That's completely, completely natural. It's from the light that shines through on the other side over here. And because the ice is a uh, a certain thickness and a certain density, it uh, it makes that wonderful blue color, which is absolutely beautiful. Also, by the way, you might uh might be curious what these pipes are all about. Um. They are water and for waste. So this top one carries water to the station, and this bottom one here carries away the waste for storage for future removal. These are one of the side tunnels. Down these is where we keep the aliens. Um, you have to go through this wall, it's very special access, you know, and you go all the way in there, and that's where the alien research is going on. Yeah, and if, uh, you, if you walk up here, there's like a, a secret tunnel, and this thing rotates, and uh, you, you can get in there, but I don't have access, sadly. Yeah, so, <laughs> sadly, uh, no aliens for us today. <laughs> oh, also the Earth is flat. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's dead silent down here. Yeah, actually, let's, let's take a moment to recognize that. Let's go ahead and listen. It's like your ears are straining for something to hear. <laughs> yeah. They're like trying, like, there's gotta be something to hear. We're almost at the end of the tunnel now, and here's a very special spot for Neff. Uh, as you can see, the number of times this guy has been down here. Apparently he's a couple behind, so he's gonna go ahead and scratch some in for us. Yeah, I saved one week for this little video session. <laughs> There it is. One week. 
There <laughs> we are. End of the line. Also, what we have down here is one of my favorite shrines. My second favorite, I guess, if the, my first one's Buzz Aldrin. But of course, the My Little Pony Shrine. Friendship and magic. We're here at the end. Uh, one of my favorite things about down here too is these amazing formations that form up top. I'll show them to you in a second here. And, okay. <laughs> Josh, you, turn the lights back on. <laughs> guys well that's the that's the ice tunnels underneath the South Pole like I said it's one of my favorite places on station I'm struggling to talk because my mouth is really cold <laughs> <laughs> so my lips aren't working <laughs> Woo! but I think that means it's a sign for us to go back up so I think this is where I'm gonna cut the video I hope you enjoyed it like I said it's an awesome place to go down here I like to come down here whenever I get the chance so um, if you liked the video, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that little like button, subscribe. Uh, we'll have another video coming out next week. Should be some pretty good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's let's get out of here before my mouth freezes and I can't talk at all. <laughs> <laughs>